sand key diagrams, and energy density are things that are important for exams, but are actually not very hard. That's the good news. Uh, so for the sand key diagrams themselves, let's take a look at this and see if we can figure this out. Um, usually they're drawn like this, like this sort of, you know, uh, structure that sort of comes in and then you've got some arrows that go out and arrows that go out like this. And what does normally represent? See these width of the arrows? That's the power or the energy. So however wide these ones are, so for example, this width right here, that will tell you actually the, um, we could see the energy in, we could say. This could be in joules or whatever. Um, and this one right here then, this here will be what we call the useful energy out. This is what's gonna be really important here. Uh, remember, this could also be power or whatever. And this right here, the width of this one right here, that tells you about the uh, losses. So these losses could be due to you know heat, it could be due to friction, it could be due to lots of other wasteful things. So basically, as long as you know sort of the energy coming in, and you can look at all the energy that was lost, and then versus the uh, useful energy out. And so I've got a little example here that I've sort of cut and paste here. So we had the energy input, for example, is 20 little squares. It doesn't even matter what units those were. Let's just say this here was 20 in. So let's just say that was, that was 20. Um, and let's say then this one here, the useful energy out was 6. Uh, and then of course we wasted, uh, they just have to add up. So this here, for example, will be 14. Let's just say those are the numbers that we'd put in. If we'd put those in, you can say, well, what's the efficiency? This is something that we need to know for sand key diagrams. This is a way to draw these processes and look at where the energy goes. Uh, and the efficiency in this case then is the useful output over the total input. So I hope that makes sense. That's what you get out. So in this case, it would be six over uh, 20. Uh, that's why they put it right here. So that's why it, uh, of course, it would reduce, but you can just do it on a calculator. You get 0.3. So in other words, this particular um, situation here is only 30% efficient. That's really all there is to sand key diagrams. They show up often enough, but they're actually really easy. You just gotta know inner, uh, efficiency is useful output over total input. In other words, and this could be energy, could be power, could be whatever. All right, next we've got energy density. Uh, so I love this one here. This is again from xkcd.com. This is a great one here. So if you go there, this is one of the many, many pictures he did. So yeah, like the science tip, log scales are for quitters who can't find enough paper to make their points properly. Uh, 